Hi everyone, this is uh, Glenn Irvin, and this is a quick video about one of my favorite podcasting tools called Anchor. And the reason why Anchor is such a fantastic tool is it not only records, helps you record a podcast, but you can edit the podcast, and then you can also publish it and even download the podcast after you've done all of these steps. Basically an all-in-one solution to creating and then publishing a podcast. So, and the best part, again, is that it's free. So you go to anchor.fm to go ahead and get started. And you're going to click this little get started button. I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, on this incognito window here. And you just put in your full name and email uh, address and then a password. And then you click that you're not a robot. You sign up. You end up at a screen something like this. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this screen here. And I am at the anchor basically login screen here. I haven't done anything as far as in this specific account that's related to my school account. But basically, it's kind of anchors leading me down a path of being able to go ahead and create an episode and then to create a podcast after I've created the first episode. So um, if you're just creating this for one episode or just one thing we're recording, fantastic. You can do that also. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's say let's do it. And once I click let's do it, we have a, a variety of different tools we can use here. Um, we have a record tool, which basically it's going to let you capture your audio right from your laptop or from a iPad or from even a phone you can go ahead and use and you can capture it right to uh, this recordings. Um, I'm going to show you that in just a bit. There's a library, so it saves all of your stuff so you can order it in whatever order you want. You can edit. You can even use um, segments. Uh, recurring segments over and over again. So for example, if you had a great intro, you could do that too. You could add music to it. In this case, it says add songs from Spotify to your episode, uh, which is fantastic that you can go ahead and do that. Uh, we can even add messages from people on the outside. You can give them a link and then you can do kind of these interview things. You could send them the question beforehand and they can record themselves and then you can add that interview to your um to your uh, podcast and it's fantastic and then there's some free transition musics and sound effects that you can go ahead and use and i'll also be showing you that so let's start off by super easy let's click the record button and then let's just see what happens we have a pop-up that comes up here on the top left and it should it somewhere on your computer say hey anchor wants to use your microphone and you're going to say yes allow it to go ahead and do that and then it says, which kind of microphone do you want to use if you've connected something? So, for example, the Snowball mic or, for example, here, I'm just using the MacBook Air microphone right there. So I'm going to go to just do that. It says we can hear you. So I'm just going to press start recording and hopefully this doesn't mess up the screencast, too. But we're going to just see we're going to press start recording. Hello and welcome to the Irv Spanish podcast. And then I'm going to press stop recording. And now my recordings are automatically saved and I can go ahead and add them to my episode. As it says here, it's processing. We can rename these to whatever we want. Let's say, let's call it like the intro or whatever we want. And then we could add them. This basically ends up being our timeline over here. So pretty cool, huh? So these are the recordings as it's finished here. I can say, hey, I want to edit this so I can call it whatever I want. So I can say this is my intro. So I, I can kind of remember what happened when. Highly recommend recording your podcast in chunks so that if you mess something up, it won't be that big of a deal. So, for example, this is just a six second chunk. It's super easy to go ahead and edit this or just to start over if I wanted to. I'm going to click these three little buttons here before I press the plus button. The plus button adds it over here to the episode. But I'm going to click these three little buttons and we have either we can download the file or delete it permanently. We don't want to do either of those two things. If I click the little plus button here. I can add it to the episode itself. That's fantastic. You don't really want the activating sponsorships at the moment, but that's a great option if you were going to get serious about making podcasts themselves too. I'm going to say, no, I don't need sponsorships right now. Um, and I can just continue to go ahead and add segments here. So let's do another recording. I'm going to click recording, start recording now. This is part two of the podcast. Welcome back. And I'm going to press stop recording. It's going to process that, and then I can add that segment to my podcast here. So super easy, right? I can call this part two. And what's awesome is that when I add these here, I could toggle these by dragging and, dro and dropping these to whatever order I want. 
very, very easy to go ahead and do. So hopefully this actually is starting to make some sense here. Um, as I click on these, I wanted to go ahead, you can add background music to a specific segment. Um, and just be careful when you do add background music. I found that the music sometimes is super loud. So just be careful as you go ahead and add that. Talking about adding music, you do maybe want to go ahead and add some transitions, which are just little sound effects or maybe like an intro to your podcast. You can add any of these that you want. Some of them, like these little super short ones, are little um, sound effects like this one here. Okay. Or some of them are also uh, like actual uh, music kind of little backgrounds that you can go ahead and add. So like, for example, the cell phone might be one, this dizzy one. Let's say I added this. I could add this and I can toggle it to whatever segment I want. So if I wanted it at the beginning of the podcast in like an introduction, if I want to break up the podcast into a couple of different segments, I could go ahead and do that also. Cool, huh? So super easy so far. And you can go through, edit things, and download them yourself. And like, again, I would recommend recording this in chunks. I'm going to press save episode just so you can see what our options are once we do save. It's going to want me to call the episode. I'm going to call it demo episode. You can give it a description. This is where the description goes. And I'm going to say I'm going to publish this right now. I could even make it part of a season and everything else. I'm going to say publish this right now and I'm going to press publish now. And so my demo episode is here. I could even publish this on social media, but I don't really need to do that. I'm going to call it demo podcast. We really don't have a, a podcast just yet. And you could choose a category if you wanted to. I think you have to at the beginning just to go ahead and kind of get it, the ball rolling here. Uh, this is a description. I think you have to fill these things in in order for it to kind of uh, let you go to do that. Um, choose one for me. <laughs> Perfect. That's a beautiful little picture that it chose for me. And sure, sure. We're going to upload that cover art. Isn't that pretty cool, though? Demo podcast is there. It looks terrible because it's a white background. It's fantastic, though. Good, good, good. I'm going to go ahead and go back here. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll do this myself. Okay. I don't need to go ahead and distribute the podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and episode is published now. Cool. Heck yeah. So this is my demo episode. Total number of plays, blah, blah, blah. How do we actually get this, though, this thing, to, for example, Schoology? How do we turn this in? Well, here, let me come back to this where it says episodes. And we have the demo episode here. So it's up here where it says episodes. And I can click these three little dots. And it should give me an ability, let me click this. To go ahead and get a link for it, though I thought we might have it, a download ability, but it doesn't look like we do. So we have the ability to copy, copy this public link to the episode. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, for example, if I pasted it somewhere, I'm going to paste it here just to the web page. It should take me right to the episode itself, um, the little episode that I recorded, and someone could listen to it right here by just clicking the play button. Okay. Cool. So hopefully that makes some sense. And, and uh, got some weird music there in the background. <laughs> it makes some sense and you're able to go ahead and, and create and publish your podcast. But if you have any questions, let me know. Adios.